Hi everyone, Deb here, Dia Designs. I went shopping at Beadbox Bargains on the 19th and I got the order on Friday. I didn't have yesterday. I didn't have time to film it yesterday because I had company. But anyway, um, I've laid it out in the order of my receipt. I got like $99 worth of stuff for, I'll say 65 So, I don't have everything out of the bag. These first five items are from prior kits. So I'm not going to take them out because you've seen them before in unboxings. These are the Featherlinks um, in antique brass, I think, or bronze. Let me see what they call it. Antique bronze. So they're links, and you get four to a pack. I got two packs of them because I really like links and stuff like that. And then also I got the, the double-sided owl um, charms or pendants, whatever you want to call them. I really like that they were double-sided. They're also in antique bronze. Those are both from the October bargain bead box kit numbers three and number ten. And then from the November one, I think that's why I went to the site is because they had um, the November kit items. So I did get more of the bicones because I like that deep cranberry color. And also number seven, which is the faceted multicolored quartz rondelles. And lastly, the cloisonne. Um, trying to find it on here. Handmade cloisonne enamel and brass floral round beads in red gold. Since we got five pieces, now I have ten. So if I wanted to, I have an even number to make earrings. I have not worked with the box yet, sad to say. Just been one thing after the other here. Anyway, moving on. I did get some enameled Christmas snowflake pendants with rhinestones. Um, actually, these were free. One second. Yep, these were free. These were a freebie in my order. Aren't they pretty? Yeah, Deb might be wearing them for Christmas. I don't know. I'm usually a silver girl. So I'll leave them right here. And then I did buy uh, enameled Christmas stocking charms. I don't think I have these. Uh, they're red and silver. Two pieces, 19 by 14 millimeter. They are single-sided, but they'll be all right, like on a charm bracelet or something. They're a little bit of a dull silver into my eyes. Uh, come on, focus, really? There we go, a little bit for a little while. But those are number are finding find. That's funny. They have C H O for Christmas, I guess. Um, ch dash find dash fifteen seventeen for these which are really pretty nope fifteen thirteen for these which are really pretty fifteen seventeen for the stockings and then fifteen fifty one and fifteen fifty two are the same except these are gold and white and the other ones the fifty two are going to be gold and pale blue these are also snowflake uh do they call they're calling them charms they're pretty lightweight. They're all gold on the back. And then they have like white enameling on the front. I thought those were pretty. They're a little bigger than, but they're light enough to wear for earrings. So I might do like an earrings and a necklace and a bracelet set or something in white and then in light blue, golden blue. Um, and the price on these, I'm sorry, I didn't give you anything. The stockings were $1.09. Uh, these were both a dollar twenty nine for four piece, and the stockings were a dollar nine for two pieces. I like these blue ones. I like the pale blue with the gold. Isn't that pretty? I usually like it with silver, but I like it with gold too now. <laughs> okay, then I got a freebie crystal twenty one sixty four. They look like rounds, and they're they look like that steel slash marine blue that I love. Or maybe it's steel blue. Like gray, steel blue. Anyway, they're gorgeous. I love them. And then I bought these um, 6 by 4 millimeter crystal faceted rondelle beads in lavender slash steel blue luster. Huh. 
Okay, I don't see a, well there is, there is like a grayish blue luster on them, but the predominant color is, is a lavender. It's coming across more blue there, but it's definitely a lavender. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder why it, that color is so off. Purple's a hard color to show on a, on a screen, but yeah, it definitely looks more blue on the screen still to me, but it's definitely a lavender. Okay. Then I just got opaque green Christmas trees with silver and, um, I'm sorry, transparent green trees with silver, opaque green trees with gold. Well, they're sort of semi-opaque. Um... It just says check press glass 17 by 12 millimeter Christmas tree beads, emerald green silver wash and emerald green gold wash. But these, these are definitely more transparent than these are. They're different. Where these look more matte, I guess it is. And these look shiny. That's what it is. These definitely have a matte finish on them. It doesn't say that on the paper, but that's what it is. And then these aren't numbered. It took me a little bit to find them. But um, these are check press glass nautical medallion beads with sailboat. And um, I will be using them sometime in 2023. Uh, they're each a little different. Like this one has a little bit lighter blue color to it than this, than this one does. But it's okay. I'm not, I'm not intending to use them as earrings anyway. So yeah, sailboats. Hmm. Um, they were a dollar sixty-nine for two pieces, and they're called Crystal Matte Blue Iris. Uh, blue Iris is like purpley blue. This one appears to have more of the iris coating on it. And then, um, these are in a different place on my list. I don't know why. And I think there's, I think I got these before, and I this is a second purchase. They don't have a sticker on them. Um, these are. Mm, now I can't find them. Well, when I find them, I'll tell you. I think they're also check glass beads. Hang, hang on. Pretty sure I just bought these not long ago. Um, yeah, 10 gram bag of 6 millimeter check press glass saucer beads, alabaster slash baby blue luster. And I'm not going to open those. And I think... There's pretty many in there. It looks like maybe 50 or 60 or something. I don't know. Okay, then I got a bunch of findings and pendants and stuff. So I just got stainless steel, not surgical steel, um, flat fish hook ear wires with a 3 millimeter ball. There's no coil on them, but there's a ball on them. You know, you've seen ear wires before. But sometimes that flat part is, is nice, and you don't have to hammer it yourself, and it's stainless steel, so it is hard. It's not going to twisty as much as some other metals do. And then um, we kind of got a whole bunch of stuff of stainless steel. I got this um, 14 by 21 and a half stainless steel crescent pendant with laser cut moon phases. I don't know if you can see that. That's a little smaller than I thought it was going to be, but it actually has holes like here and here, so you can put it on a necklace or something this way. I think that's kind of pretty. Um, I maybe should have got two of them. Anyway, and then finding 1302 is five pieces. Crescent Moon Drops in Antique Silver. Um, this was a $1.99 for one. I think the laser cutting made it more... And it's stainless steel. The fish hook ear wires, uh, 20 pieces for 209. And these are double sided. They're sort of like puffy crescent moons. I really like these. Really like these. Oh, and the hole's going this way. So you could string right through and just hang them like on a necklace like this or something if you wanted to. Uh, or just one. I think I'll probably just be using one. I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> but I do want to do some sun and moon themed stuff at some point. Yeah, I really like those. Um, that's find-1302. Then find 1345 is two pieces sun and moon celestial pendants in antique bronze. 
These were 99 cents. They are double sided. They're a little bit indented because you have the crescent moon and then you have like the man in the moon face behind it. Uh, and that's all on top, a spiky sun ray kind of thing. Ooh, that face kind of just creeped me out a little bit. <laughs> Not the crescent moon part, the other part. I don't know if I realized that it was there. I don't know. Uh, sometimes faces get me and I have to watch it. I don't like clowns and stuff like that either. I never really have liked clowns. Okay. Finding 1364. Now I bought some more cloisonne, about four or five things. And I got um, two packs of this because I couldn't resist. And these are butterflies, the first one. Blue, gold, red, multi drilled. Huh. Let's see what that means. Two pieces. Um, $1.69 for two. They're pretty thick look. Oh, I see how they mean. Hang on. If I can get them out of the bag, I will show you. Okay. Multi-drilled. They have two holes on each side, so you string through, or you can go up and down. Interesting. That's interesting. I didn't realize that when I got them. They're really cool. Uh, and the pretty colors, of course. Now see, that one has more light blue on it. wonder if the other pack, well that side looks closer together, right? But again, I don't know if I'll use them as earrings or not. And maybe this pack, um, the second pack maybe has some that has a little bit less light blue on it too. I don't know. I will look later. So did I tell you what they cost? Let's see. Did I, did I, did I? $1.69 for two, and I got two. And then find 1366 is 18 millimeter pewter and enamel cloisonne style. So it's not real cloisonne, but these were really pretty. Flower coin bead in gold, sapphire, and sky blue. These were 99 cents for two. They are heavier, so they're not real cloisonne because cloisonne is light. This feels like brass. Um, yeah, it is. Brass and enamel. Really pretty. And I got uh, two of those. They were 99 cents each. Yes. So very pretty as a focal. I think I would not use that as an earring. It's too heavy. The, cloison the real cloisonne ones are lighter. Okay, and then 1391 is brass and enamel cloisonne. Now this is real cloisonne. Hummingbird coin bead in gold sapphire multi. I got um, two of these. These were a dollar fifty-nine each, and they look like that. Very lightweight. These would be fine for an earring if you wanted to use them for an earring. Really pretty. I love hummingbirds. We get them occasionally. I mean, they're here, but I don't always see them in the spring and summer. And then I got the same, um, let me see, gold cerulean. I think that's this one. This is a same thing, but a different blue and it cost, um, 10 cents more for some reason, $1.69 each. Um, so this is a little bit, it's a lighter blue. I don't know if you can tell the difference. And the hummingbird is more yellow, black, and red as opposed to the green, blue. I mean, this coloring of the hummingbird is my favorite, but this is different and pretty also. So I got them, and then I got one more, but this time I only got one, and it is the same kind, but it's gold alabaster multi. So let me, um, oh, no, I got two. I'm sorry. I, I did get two. These were $1.69 also. I like that the colors popped off the white bead. Uh, there, the 
this way. Yeah, very pretty. That would be nice for spring, right? All of them really, but the white one especially. Nice spring colors. Alrighty, so that's it for those. And then we go back into Crescent Moons. These are antique silver, five piece, 20 by 10 millimeter Crescent Moon drops, dollar nine. So they're just like, are they just like these? Well, now I'm confused. 20 by 10, these are a little bigger. I think that's what it and they're also a little more matte and these are shiny so these don't look like antique silver these look like silver they were a dollar nine for five pieces let me look those other ones back up yeah these ones are 29 and a half by 11 antique silver and these are 20 by 10 so just slightly smaller and it says antique silver but these um Finding, find 1410, they're more bright silver. So the antiquing, I guess, is on the moon and the stars. So very shiny. You can even tell in the bag, they're very shiny compared to these. Well, I can tell. <laughs> then I got some ear stoppers because I've been putting them on all the earrings I'm making and I'm getting low. And then I have a bunch of stainless steel snowflakes and stuff so two pieces 16 by 20 millimeter stainless steel which shouldn't tarnish these are links snowflake links a dollar 29 for two pieces they have a little thickness to them I was kind of surprised by that but anyway they're just silver snowflake links but they shouldn't tarnish hopefully and then 15, 15, that was 15, 14. 15, 15 is two piece 17 by 13 and a half millimeter snowflake charms. These are thinner and less weighty. So these could be used for earrings. If you live near salt water or something, stainless steel would be a good thing to wear. I don't, but you know, I don't know. 15, 16 is more the same design as these links, but they're charms. Um, 15 by 11 and a half millimeter snowflake charms. So these are the links, these are the charms that go with them. 1517 is one 16 millimeter stainless steel round snowflake link component. So it's not drilled anywhere, but there's plenty of spaces you could connect, you know, um, like here and here for a necklace or, or something, or even just here. Yeah, I'd probably do it on either side of the center point, something like that. Also stainless steel. And then uh, the last stainless steel for these things is little etched um, foxes. <laughs> I know foxy season's about over, but aren't they cute? And they're flat. And let's see if they're double sided. I don't remember. Laser cut and etched fox charms. These were $1.39 for two. The one piece the one was a dollar nine for that snowflake, that last one. There we go. They're cute. They would make cute earrings. And they're very lightweight. Yeah, those are cute. I need to get making. Now this, they had a special, um, and it was, I, let's see, where's the front of that paper? Regularly two sixty nine, dollars but they took 81 cents off and gave it to me for $1.88. Honestly, I'm not crazy about it. It's bigger than I thought, and I think this was a, like a special clearance thing they were having. Um... Yeah, but you know what? Maybe next summer I'll do a beach theme and that'll go perfectly for that, right? Somebody will like it, I hope. And then um, P. 
10, 118. The only difference between these two, they're both stainless steel. They're both ball head pins, which I like to use. These are 50 millimeter long, so they're closer to two inches. And these are 40 millimeter long, which are closer to an inch and a half. Not exactly, but that's approximate. And they're 21 gauge. These cost $249 for 50 pieces, and these cost $239 for 50 pieces. I don't know if that's a good deal or not, but they're stainless steel, so I don't know. And then, um, I have a pendant. Oh, glazed porcelain bird pendant. I know a lady who used to make these. Um, I took a class from her once. I'm trying to remember her name, and she's actually in my state. Um, but um, maybe others do too. Anyway, I got two of them. This one has a chip on it. I'm not real happy about that. Did I order two? I did. Yeah, that one definitely has a chip on it. I don't even know if I'm going to tell them about it, though. They're $1.49 each, though. Um, this is 16 by 29 glazed porcelain bird pendant in blue, and it's a very pale blue, which I liked, but I actually like the color of the one that's broken better. It's more like that Robin's egg blue and this one's more pale sky blue its tail is chipped and I cannot fix that I don't know I might contact them and ask them to please send me another one uh, I hate when that happens it's disappointing but they're usually very good and then um, surgical steel now it seems odd to me that the ear wires are stainless steel but the toggle clasp is surgical steel, but I got it anyway. It's $1.49 for three sets. Just your basic toggle clasp, but they are also steel, surgical steel. So they shouldn't tarnish. And if you have sensitive skin on your wrist, they shouldn't, they should be fine. Um, yeah, because they're surgical steel. And then I did get, I'm not going to open all these, but I got these, um, gemstones they're called mountain quote unquote jade in parentheses dolomite round beads they're all eight millimeter they might have had different sizes but i got all eight millimeter and i got them in indigo with gold accent i'll take one of these that one or i'll, I'll probably take that one out to show you or the red um crimson with gold accents that's a deep nice Christmas red which would go with those things um, I've had this color before but from BB craft not the box bargains um, and this is called sky blue gold accent they're beautiful and then this is called coral pink gold accent almost like a salmon color actually and then uh, lilac gold accent. I'm not sure I like that color. I like the color of lilac, but I'm not sure I like it with the gold accents. Anyway, all the other ones I do, and this one I do for, again, for the holidays. So those two together for the holidays are good. Um, and this one is called it's evergreen let me find it evergreen gold accent so very dark green um, let me take that one out because i think you'll see the gold on it better and they're approximately 15 inch strands now these were 4.99 each before i i got a um 30 coupon off all this so my invoice originally came to something like 99 dollars, and i got it for 65 basically and the shipping with them so far still is only um, $3.95. Some of the holes are not drilled great. They're a little bit uh, uneven. But I guess gemstone type things. Dolomite's still a stone, you know. Anyway, those are them. They're pretty. I'll use them for holiday stuff. 
and spring stuff. And I think the blue ones look a lot like, um, almost like a lapis. But, you know, you can tell it's not. But it would go with it, I think. The dark blue with the, with the gold. Pretty. I like the blues. And I like the salmon-y one, too. I think that'll be nice, like, for, also for beachy themes, like the seashells and stuff. I think I have some seashell pendants that, sort of that color. Okay, so that is my Beadbox Bargains haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you have a favorite item? Do you like any of it? Um, sorry for the crinkling, but I just didn't want to take the time to take everything out of the bags before I got on here. It's, and then have to, I still have to put them back in the bags anyway. So, yeah, lots of goodies. And I know right now on the November 26th, I think they're having like 40% off some items. I don't know if it's everything. But, um, yeah, I just want to see something. <laughs> see, purple is hard. Totally two different colors of purple, right? I would not use this lavender with this lilac. I just wouldn't. It wouldn't. To me, it doesn't look right. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I hope you have a great week. And I hope to be back soon, but it'll probably be a few days to maybe a week. Um, because I have some projects I'm working on for my other channel. And I need to get them done first. And then I'll get back into beading. Alright guys, take care. Hugs, love, and peace.